I'm James McIntosh and today at Aga in Divertimenti we're looking at Nigeria as we travel around London to find the world in one city. So Nina, welcome to Divertimenti. What are we going to cook today? We're going to cook one of Nigerian staple dishes mm -hmm. which, which is called yam. Here it is. So we've got the yam. Yes, and I've got the spinach, mm -hmm. chorizo, tomatoes, onions, garlic, chili pepper, paprika, and so on and so Oil and forth. stock. So yeah. there's quite a lot of ingredients in one dish. What's typical about Nigerian food? If I was to ask you to write down in one sentence what Nigerian food is, could you tell me? Nigerian food is mainly carbohydrate mm -hmm. because we have rice, which is carbohydrate. We've got cassava, which is carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. And then we've got yam, which is carbohydrate. So all in all, Nigerian dishes are mainly carbohydrate, but then you supplement it mm -hmm. by using protein, which is either chicken, meat, or anything else. Uh, okay. So what, what's today's dish called? What's the name for it? What today's dish is called, I personally, I called it yam goulash. Okay. The reason being that I've, I've used uh, paprika mm -hmm. and chorizo in them, I've fused it to suit the Western palate. I, I, in other words, my idea of f fusion is taking African ingredients mm -hmm. with Western ingredients, marry them together, voila. So you've got multicultural fusion? food today? Yes, that's, that, that's what I have. <laughs> to start with, I'm going to use the vegetable oil. That's hot enough. And then I add the onions and the garlic. and the ginger. Okay, so we just keep moving it around to get the aromatic flavors out? Yeah. And soften the onion. Right. Okay, so we just need to sweat them down a little bit? A little bit, and then... We can move it across the simmering plate. It's very, yeah. very hot there. So. Move it down, keep the lid down. And the next thing I'll do here is um, add the chorizo. Mm -hmm. I like chorizo. It yeah. cooks down really well. Mm. Okay. And then I add the tomatoes. That should be enough. And then I add the stock. Okay. So that's chicken stock we're using today? It doesn't really matter. Um, you can use chicken stock or beef stock. It all does the same job anyway. Okay. We leave it to simmer for five minutes or thereabouts. Okay, well with the agar, the quickest way to do that is to bring it to the boil on the boiling plate. Yes. Because a lot faster. So we'll bring it up to the boil, put the lid on it, and we can leave it to simmer in the agar simmering oven, which is this All one right. on a, a three and five oven agar. And uh, we can pop it in there for a minute or two. There'll be no smell in the kitchen, there'll be no steam, and we can just leave it be. All right, great. So it's been in the simmering oven for about 10 minutes now. Is that, is that okay and ready yes, to go? Yes, that's fine. Brilliant. So what, what do we do what next, What I'm Nina? going to do now is add the yam okay. with some paprika and some chili powder. Right. So we keep the yam in big chunks. Is there a reason for that? Um, so that it doesn't disintegrate okay. when it's cooking so that by the time it's cooked properly uh, it should still be whole. So does it behave like like potatoes then? Yes. 
Because, in other words, this is Nigerian potato. potato. Yes. <laughs> um, now I'm adding some paprika in there. It's a brilliant color, isn't it? Today? Yes. The purpose of using the paprika pepper is to give it a bit of color as well. Mm -hmm. Because I deal in African fusion, so I've named this um, Yam Goulash. The reason being because I'm, I'm using paprika in there and also the chirutso. You've just added some chili. Is chili quite popular in Nigeria? Very popular. Um, you cannot cook any food in Nigeria without, without chili. It, without chili, it, it won't taste the same. Okay. <laughs> so do we season it now or at the end of cooking? At the end of cooking. Okay. So do we just leave this to boil for about, what, 20 minutes? Yes, to simmer gently for about 15, 20 minutes. Well, then let's put it into the Argus simmering oven. Yes, sure. go so you can pop it in here again oh there we go and come back to that in a bit so about 20 minutes is up nina shall we have a look yes please okay it now looks good okay how do we test whenever the yam's cooked is it like potatoes we just put a knife in it yeah use your knife to test it that's it Okay, so that's done. And then just add the spinach. I'll add the spinach now. It's quite a lot, but it wilts down beautifully. Okay, so there should be enough heat in that pan now to wilt everything down. Yes. So we can take it off and that's it cooked. So it's all cooked. The spinach is well. Oh, that smells fantastic. It's mm. ready. It smells lovely. You can really get the chorizo and the paprika coming through. Yes, so. it yeah. is. That's what gives it the lovely smell. Okay. Nice color. I hope it tastes nice as well. Well, if you put some on a plate, I can try it. <laughs> Come along. Brilliant. That's enough. Well, let me give it a try. No. It's quite firm, isn't it? Mm. Very starchy. It's, I was, I've never tasted jam before. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it was going to be more potato and texture, but it holds its texture together a lot better. Yeah. But the flavors of the paprika are brilliant with it. Nina, thank you for helping us to discover Nigeria in London in the world in one city at August. It's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>